The differences between cocaine and methamphetamines. Uh, my name is Eric and I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. I have done meth before. Meth and cocaine are different drugs and I'm gonna explain to you some of the differences between those. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. What's up guys, my name is Eric and I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict and I enjoy sharing my experiences for anybody who is struggling, wanting to get sober, that's just looking to not feel alone. A lot of times I realize, especially getting sober, you do get so much out of hearing other people share and other people share their testimonies, knowing that you're not alone. And so what is the big differences between cocaine and methamphetamine? So both are stimulant drugs, and I'm not a professional when it comes to this. I was a professional user, not a professional in the way of science. Um, so both are stimulant drugs. Cocaine though, unlike meth, does have a anesthetic uh, feature to it. So it does actually numb you a little bit. Uh, numbs your nose, numbs your mouth. I mean, it locks you up still. I mean, both of the drugs, I could feel my muscles all tense up. But with cocaine, you, there is a numbness side to it where you don't feel things quite as well. Uh, where meth does not have that. Uh, when it comes to using uh, cocaine, I would snort. I was a big snorter. I never smoked the drugs. If you do smoke, um, smoking cocaine or crack cocaine, um, that's going to last in your system for about an hour. It's very intense. Uh, where methamphetamines is going to actually last a lot longer. Uh, when it comes to just how what it does essentially to your body is they do, uh, meth does boost uh, dopamine a lot more than actually what cocaine does boost your dopamine. And it stops the dopamine re-up. Uh, uptake. So it does affect your brain and how it produces and how it accepts dopamine into your system. Both of them are very similar in that aspect. Uh, cocaine is a very short-term high versus where it came to meth. Meth is a long-term high. Uh, when I snorted meth, I could feel the effects of the drug for a lot longer. I mean, I'm talking six, seven hours. I could feel the effects of it where cocaine is going to be out of your system about 15 minutes. Also, even putting it up your nose, there's a huge different effect. You can almost tell that cocaine is more of a plant derivative. Um, it's more organic, even though it does is mixed with other chemicals and it hence gives you that weird aftertaste where meth itself is just pure chemicals in it, uh, burns your nose, just you can feel it up in your sinuses, it hurts. It hurts to snort that drug, where cocaine, it didn't hurt to snort the drug. Um, both of them, you do end up getting a crash afterwards. When it comes to, when it came to cocaine, that crash, I didn't really feel massive depression or anything of that sort. Um, I did experience, um, most people don't have appetite. I had an appetite on coke, but I also drank a lot where when it comes to meth, it's a lot like any of the amphetamines out there that it does just calm your appetite. You're, you're not hungry. You're not thirsty. Uh, you do get dry mouth with both. So you inevitably do start usually drinking alcohol. At least that's what I did. Um, and so it does affect your system in that way. With meth, it is a bit of a harder come down, I think, personally, because um, it's similar to like Adderall uh, in that sense of you do hit this like dopamine drop where it's a little bit longer of a depression. You notice the depression. Don't get me wrong with cocaine. I was an addict with it. I was doing one to two eight balls of coke a day on a, on a, on a, on a day that I just wanted to ruin myself. I'm doing two eight balls of coke. So, I mean, you're just so numb, essentially ODing, heart racing, your head's floating away. Um, again, the, the effects though, and the high of them both were very different highs where, being ADHD, meth almost focused me in. It did have some ADHD calming qualities. Um, there is dialysis or dioxin, uh, which is actually methamphetamine for ADHD in a pill form. Um, so it does actually kind of calm you in, focus you in. There is like a focusing aspect to it if you're ADHD, uh, where with cocaine, even though it's a stimulant, it doesn't really focus you in. Uh, you think, you know, both of the drugs are extremely intelligent, but with cocaine, you're just kind of rambling on. Nothing makes any sense at all, but it makes sense in your own head. So those are the big differences really between the two drugs. They do have a lot of similarities between them, but they are not the same. Uh, and these are just, again, my personal experiences. For anybody out there struggling with addiction, man, reach out for help. I've been sober since 725, 17. I like to just share just basic information of what it was like for the one out there struggling. That sometimes we, we hear a video or we listen to somebody talk and we're like, man, today's the day. Today's the day I got to get sober. And maybe that's the, the case for somebody out there today. And that's what we hope for as, you know, addicts in recovery who share our testimony. Again, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a doctor. Uh, my name is Eric, I'm diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, MDD. Those are my diagnoses. 
lost a wife and a father to suicide. I attempted suicide. I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. And it's just nice to know that we're not alone. So if you haven't hit that like and follow button, hit the like and follow button, comment down below. And just remember this, that if you are struggling, the best thing you can do is to reach out, ask for help. I got links down below to NA and AA. They are great resources. But ask for help, reach out for help. Let everybody know you're an addict and start going one day at a time. You're not alone and you got this.